In today's video we take a closer look at the Real Steel Bushcraft folding knife. That's knife collector here. Thanks for tuning in. My name is Henk. And in front of me is laying the Real Steel Bushcraft folding knife. If you ever have seen the Bushcraft fixed blade from Real Steel, or me maybe handled it, or maybe you own it, you see the resemblance between the Bushcraft fixed knife and the Bushcraft folding knife. Very similar design. The Bushcraft fixed blade is a gorgeous knife. Very capable, by the way, very affordable for the materials. But this one is also a very nice knife. So, the knife comes in this package, the well-known real steel cardboard box with a little paperwork and as a bonus this nice sturdy pouch with a belt loop. So, very neat packaging, although this is the third box from Real Steel I opened without a cleaning cloth. So I don't know if they were, were, uh, were out of cleaning cloths or if they stopped with the cleaning cloth. I think the first, or maybe just a mistake. Anyways, the Bushcraft folding knife. By the way, this is not mine. This is a guest blade. This is from a good friend, Tio, who ordered it. And he was so kind to leave it here, just for reviewing purpose. Let me start with the dimensions. The real steel Bushcraft folder has a blade steel uh, has D2 as blade steel, D2 tool steel with a rockwell hardness of 58 to 60. The blade length is 9 cm or 3.4 sorry 3.54 inch. The thickness of the blade is 3.5 mm or 0.138 inch. The overall length is 21 cm or 8.27 inch and the weight is 180 gram or 6.35 oz. It's a pretty heavy uh, knife but considering how big it is, how sturdy it is built, the weight isn't even that high. So. I was surprised it was relative light and that has to do with the heavy milling inside from the steel liners. Okay, so a very nice full-sized folding knife. Let me compare it with this one as long as I can because this one is leaving soon. The winner of the giveaway is already announced in another video. He hasn't reported yet, but I don't think that will take too long before he reports himself and I can ship the knife out. So let me compare it with the Real Steel Tor T101. As you can see, the Tor is just slightly longer slightly longer blades maybe two millimeter and slightly longer handle maybe three millimeter so it's pretty much comparable in length with the Tor T101 then the knife itself 
it's a Brucecraft folder. So real steel has uh, has put uh, Scandi grind on the blade. Very nice grind, by the way. The knife is very sharp, very very sharp. D2 steel, Rockwell hardness of 58 to 60. D2 steel is a very good steel for budget folding knives, but with a high high end steel. D2 will take an edge very good, very well and will keep its edge for a very long use time. Nice satin brush finish. Ninety degree spine. So it should be possible to strike a ferro rod with it. Very strong point point or tip. Thick blade stop, three and a half inch. Jimping on top, it provides lots of traction for me. Blade is very nice centered, with the thumb studs great action, no blade play up and down or side to side, no play at all. So very decent lockup. Then the material of the frame. Of course, you have the steel, very thick steel liners. I think the uh, these are. I think one and a half millimeter, pretty thick. The locking liner is a bit uh, pronounced, so you can easy access the liner lock to open it and then on the steel liners there is this G10 these G10 scales with a very nice diagonal pattern and these provide lots of grip traction but never, they never are aggressive. So very nice grip. Big lanyard hole. And a nice detail I think are these orange or reddish liners between the scales and the liner, ST liners. And then there is a G10 backspacer, but only for one third of the length, so you have an open flow through design. It is a bushcraft folder, so you have to clean out your knife very often if you use this knife. By the way, D2 steel needs some maintenance as well. It is not a stainless steel, so if you don't maintain the steel you could get a patina or rust, but then again D2 is not a very rust sensitive steel, so you don't have to exaggerate. The knife doesn't uh, provide a clip, but it comes with the sturdy pouch and I don't think the use of the knife uh, 
because of the use of the knife the clip is uh, is very important fit and finish on this knife is pretty good yeah pretty good for a knife in this price price range there are some little spots where the finish could have been just a little bit better but then again this is a knife in the price range I think of about 60 euro or 60 dollar so it's not worth mentioning all in all the fit and finish is pretty good for this knife and we are used uh, used to that from real steel ergonomics are very important of course for a bushcraft knife regular grip very good nowhere hot spots just very very comfortable jimping on top provides traction but for me the jimping could have been a bit more further on the spine but just for a regular grip it is okay but I like to choke up a little bit more and then that's now no no big deal uh, draw cut grip very comfortable reverse grip pretty good comfortable as well so nowhere hot spots everything is round off nowhere aggressive patterns uh, the steel liners are round off corners are broken so very comfortable knife and I think this is not mine so I will not cut with it but I think this is a very capable knife I like it very much action is very good very defined walk and talk already pretty smooth for such a sturdy beefy working knife action is really very good yeah. this is definitely a knife I can recommend for the Netherlands you can find these knives at the local Dutch dealer Mezenzo.com by the way he also ships to other countries I think most of his business he gets from outside the Netherlands he has a nice uh, he has quite a, uh, some nice brands in his portfolio like Zero Tolerance, Manly, Real Steel, Wee Knife, Kaiser, uh, Boker, etc. etc. Worthwhile check this worthwhile checking this website out. So if you have any questions I will try to answer all of them in the comment section if you like this video please like it it helps a lot for my channel if you like this channel please subscribe that's it for now bye bye